Hey, my name is Sam Smith. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about the Scopes trial. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this. The Scopes trial takes place in the 1920s when the fundamentalist Christians were bumping up against the modern culture. John T. Scopes, a substitute teacher in Tennessee, was put on trial for teaching evolution in a truly staged trial. The Butler Act said it was unlawful to teach evolution in any state-funded school. But according to Scopes, he taught a lesson directly out of the text. <clears throat> Scopes even said he can't remember teaching the lesson, but went on to say purposely incriminating himself so that the case would have a defendant. This became a religion versus science case that brought a somewhat of a circus to the front page of many newspapers across the nation. Three of Scopes students were coached by him personally on what to say that would indict him. The grand jury selected was told to also indict Scopes even with the small amount of evidence they had. After it was all said and done, Scopes was charged with teaching evolution to a high school class in violation of the Butler Act. The case was followed across the nation. Williams Jennings Bryan was brought in for the prosecution and Clarence Darrow for the defense. Each lawyer very prominent in their own right. Jennings, he was a, a, a lawyer, a three-time Democratic presidential nominee. He was the former United States Secretary of State and a lifelong Presbyterian. An interesting fact about Brian was he has not tried a case in almost 36 years before accepting this particular case. The defense selected an agnostic, Clarence Darrow. An interesting fact about Darrow, he originally declined believing just his presence would turn the case into a circus. After realizing the case was going to be a circus either way, with or without him, he decided to move forward with the opportunity as the defense counsel. This trial was at a turning point in the 20s, with the fundamentalist modernist controversy at a head. Interestingly, the modernists said evolution was not inconsistent with religion, but the fundamentalists believe the Word of God, as revealed in the Bible, took priority over all human knowledge. Obviously, in the end, Scopes was found guilty and was fined $100, but the verdict was overturned on a technicality. The case, it served its purpose. Since Scopes lost the trial, evolution was banned from the classrooms of public schools. At that point, creationism was the only theory that was taught in sciences, science classrooms for years. So the main cause to the Scopes trial was the Butler Act. Without the Butler Act, there wouldn't have been a Scopes trial. Later, the Butler Act was removed because it was unconstitutional. I hope you guys uh, learned something from my video, uh, and I will be happy and look forward to seeing yours as well. Thank you.